Hello everybody, Witchfinder here from Horror Screen Video Vault. Today we are going to do the, uh, I believe it's August Horror Pack DVD unboxing, which is uh, a company based in America where you can either get four DVDs or four Blu-rays, depending on what your preference is, and you they send you out those, and they can be a mystery, you don't know what you're going to get until you get them, so if you've got a collection like mine, possibly we end up getting some doubles, which necessarily isn't a bad thing, so you can always pass them on to other people, etc. But I always get the DVD one, so without further ado, let us see what's inside the pack. I have already opened it, but I have no idea what's inside it yet. So the first one is... Annalise, the Exorcist Tapes. The terrifying story that inspired the exorcism of Emily Rose. Which, yeah, I think that's, I think that's right. This is this uh, would have been well, the story would have been inspired the film, The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Whether it's actually this, I think this is the the thing that's kind of it's like a pseudo documentary about uh, Annalise Mikkel. I think that's what her name was, who was uh, famously possessed, but. Uh, Give me a quick break down the back. Uh, the shocking account of history's most infamous case of demonic possession compiled from the actual videotape and film recordings from over 76 exorcisms. Now, I I somewhat doubt it would it would be using the actual videotapes because I'm pretty sure some of it would have been used in the court case that was done for this. But it says it includes documentary on Alice Mikkel and the valid validity of the exorcist tapes. Uh, 35 minutes long, so you can see the pretty uh, generic cover for uh, that sort of thing. And then on the back, you got all these little things. I'm sure it'd be interesting. I've seen this around, but never actually picked it up, so I'm actually quite happy to get that and looking forward to watching it. Next thing is, feels like those old sort of clip case. DVDs used to get. No, no, it's not. It's just a very squashed side DVD. Um, it's Oculus or Oculus, depending on who you are, which I have got already, and I actually enjoyed this. It says that on the front, the producer of Paranormal Activity and Insidious presents Oculus. Uh, Seeing is deceiving and is disturbingly original horror flick that reflects heart-stopping terror you've never imagined. It's been ten years since the lives of siblings Tim and Kayla Russell were shattered and Tim was convicted of murdering their parents. Now released from a mental institution, Tim wants to move on, but his sister has other plans. Kaylee blames their childhood nightmare on the Lasser Glass, an antique mirror of a grisly history which she intends to destroy by any means possible, even as the mysterious entity continues to cast his spells at anyone who gazes into it. The only special feature on here is uh, inside the mirror, creating a colus. Now, I'm sure people would uh, recognise some of the names on here. Uh, most notably, uh, Karen Gillan, and uh, directed by Mike Flanagan. And of course, it's done by the, uh, the Bloomhouse Production Company. But that's the cover to it. I actually really enjoyed this. Was it? Yeah, I, say, I think this was, yeah, it is this, uh, w, the, the, a WWE studio film. So this was actually one of the better WWE studio uh, co-production films. So happy. Two good films. I said I really do own that, but I can always pass it on. Next one is, uh, that's the one I felt with the old DVD type clip case things. And it's Eight Legged Freaks from the producers of Independence Day and Godzilla. Let the squashing begin. So this is um, would be no Roland Emmerich, uh, executive produced film, Master of Disaster, which is sort of become with all his sort of explosion films and all that kind of stuff. Um, David Arquette stars in this, former uh, WCW <laughs> champion. Just let you let that move on from there. But uh, it stars as uh, Scarlett Johansson. In one of her, what's uh, this? Would have been early 2000s, yeah. So early 2000s, so one of her earlier type films before she became the big sort of name that everybody knows nowadays, from mainly for Black Widow and the Marvel films, but and other things. 
Um, what do you get when you cross toxic waste with a bunch of exotic spiders? Eaten. The townies of Prosperity, Arizona will all become a screaming smorgasbord, smorgasbord? if mutated ar arachnids as big as SUVs have their way in this comedy horror crowd pleaser whose creators include the producers of Independence Day and Godzilla, spiders that leap like gazelles, web spitting spiders, spiders that suck your inside out as it threw for a straw. They're among the bay moths conjured up by an inventive effects team. David Arquette heads the two elegant stars, mobilizing the Simpsons three in a last dish fight to survive. His hope and succeed, otherwise prosperity, maybe the world, maybe reduced to one giant uh website. Ha 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 ha. Now if you read the back and you haven't seen this film before, you you've probably sold on it. it I d I don't mind this same with like um let's see the evolution, which had a, or evolution again, depending on who you were, um, which had the uh, Dan Aykroyd and David Duchovny of uh, X Files Mulder fame, but uh, that was really good as well. But I like this. I've only seen it a couple times, and surprisingly, I don't actually already own it. So <laughs> quite good to get that. There's loads of extras on here, feature commentaries, uh, the classic interactive menus. And the ever so useful, but we'll put it on there anyway because it makes it sound like we've got loads of stuff on there. We have the subtitles. Mm. Remember those DVDs with so many extras like that? Chapters and interactive menus. Uh, there's an in enhanced feature for your DVD, ROM PC, plug into our high voltage spider killing challenge. Link to the original theatrical website and other locations plug into future online events. Now, I'd be very surprised if that is even still up anymore. I mean, it might be. You never know, but so yeah, uh, two out of three films there I've seen, and the last one in here is, as you can see, now empty. That's that for this month, and last one is oh, it's another one of those um, Man Eater series things, which I think was Yeti was the last one. So this is Croc, which stars uh, Michael Madsen. And uh, I'll say at the front, it's hunting season and you're the prey. Presumably the covers, yeah, it's the covers, say. Which, don't overly mind. I, I quite like it when they have different covers, sort of, for the slipcase, and then they have something underneath. But alas, this one does not. So, on the outskirts of a beach resort in Thailand, a killer croc is on the loose. Locals are missing and body parts are bobbing in the swamps with a $5,000 reward offered for the capture of the beast. Croc hunter Hawkins Michael Madsen of Reservoir Dogs fame is the first man on the job, but as bodies continue to pile up and jungle screams fill the air, Hawkins soon learns that this is no ordinary croc and he's in for the fight of his life. I believe the first time I seen this was on the sci-fi channel, possibly, it's one of them things. Um, I mean, it probably said on the back, that's what it was, and I didn't say anything on the back, but I'm sure that's what it was, it was on the sci-fi channel. Uh, don't recognise anybody else's names on the back of here. By the looks of it, there's no extras either. Which is surprising, it's not even a, not even a trailer. Not ready for that? Nope. But I think there's quite a few of these in this series, many series. I know there's about 20 plus. No, of course, they're all the sort of things. Crocodiles, yetis, spiders, and all sorts of things, but... They're fun popcorn filler type movies, if you like popcorn nice. So, all together, four films, three I've seen, one I'm actually looking forward to watching, and they are the one I'm looking forward to watching, Annalise, The Exorcist, Tapes, so you got that. One I have seen and already own, Oculus, another I have seen, Eight-Legged Freaks, and Croc which stars Michael Madsen. So, it's a good mixture of stuff. You've got a possession thing, you've got a kind of haunted mirror type thing, creature, then two creature features, I suppose. But you've got two ghost type stuff and two creature feature films. So, it's all good. Now, I will mention that um, the people behind Horror Pack are actually doing a new thing now, which is um, called the Pop-Up Pack, which it rotates every week with a different package, and one week it would be action, and another week it would be drama, and then there's thriller, and there's sci-fi. 
Now, if you go onto their website, which I will put a link down below, um, go through that. I think DVDs are, on Blu-rays are about $5 each, round right about that. But there's a mystery pack, a bit similar to how you do with these. So, like these, you, you would click, say, the sci-fi one, you click your four DVDs or your four Blu-rays. You wouldn't know what you'd have until it came. But other titles that are on there, if you picked them specifically, that's the titles that you would get. Do make sure that um, you can play Region 1 DVDs or Region A Blu-rays, because more than likely that's what they will be as they are coming from America. And yeah, so that, uh, what did you think of these? Uh, this month's one? I think this is probably a little bit better than last month's. I can't really remember what was in last month's ones. Scavenger Killers, maybe? No, I don't think that's right. Something else. But it's a it's a good bunch this month, I think. And, uh, yeah, just let me da know down below if there's any there that you've seen that you think really good. Is there any there that you don't recommend giving a watch to? Bear in mind, I have seen three of them, so there's only one, <laughs> one there I haven't seen before. Uh, as always, if you've uh, subscribed, thank you very much. I did notice before I started doing this video, we have reached the 150 milestone. So thank you very much to those who have subscribed and to any new subscribers that will be coming from and onwards from now. It's very much appreciated. And here's to the next 100, which will be the 250 mile marker. That's the next thing to hit. Um, as always, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell as well, because that'll let you know when I post up any new videos, etc. Unboxings. Planning on doing some movie uh, reviews and stuff like that as well. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next video. Bye for now.